Hello folks, it's Ken David Stewart here with another YouTube video. Now this one is gonna be kind of a rock and roll type of video. I'm not gonna play any rock and roll, but we're gonna talk about some rock and roll. Now, I've been on Facebook the last couple of days and I got quite a bit of response, which makes my heart very glad. And yesterday, <coughs> excuse me, I was talking about Brian Jones, the late Brian Jones from the Rolling Stones and how I said in one of my posts, as far as I was concerned, he was the Rolling Stones. Now he was the leader and the founder. And I think he was the best musician of all them, at least in terms of the many instruments he could play. And I had quite a few people who uh, responded to that. So I found out there were a lot more Brian Jones fans out there than just me. And uh, today, I think I'm going to talk a bit about uh, favorite albums. Some hard questions. What? Your first one's going to be, what is your favorite Rolling Stones album? Well, yes, me first. I'd go with December's Children. Uh, this was not an official album in the UK, but December's Children was made and released in North America. And it was basically a bunch of singles and flip sides uh, put on the album with some other studio cuts or former album cuts. And though I don't know how well thought out it was when it was put together, it turned out to be a really good album to listen to uh, for the Rolling Stones from the Brian Jones era. You know, you had songs like I'm Moving On and Route 66 Live and, uh, you know, my favorite Blue Turns to Gray. I mean, great stuff on there. Uh, and I had a few people respond already on my Facebook and uh, they had some other choices, which is not unusual. Uh, one of them was Some Girls. Uh, another one was Black and Blue or someone like Memory Hotel. And uh, let's see, and another one was Sticky Fingers, of course. With tracks like Brown Sugar, Wild Horses, Can't You Hear Me Knocking, oh yeah. But hoping to get some more, uh, when I go back to my Facebook later, get some more responses there. And I'm very interested to see what, uh, what you people come up with. And I want you people to, if you're so inclined to comment on this YouTube, uh, where you'll answer one or more of my questions about rock and roll. Like the first one being, what is your favorite uh, Rolling Stones album? And uh, it just occurred to me now, uh, speaking about people who post uh, to my YouTube and that I haven't heard from uh, Riley for a while. So Riley, if you're out there, you know, please comment and, uh, you know, because I miss you. Okay. And I appreciate all the people who watch my YouTubes. And uh, getting back on topic, it's a little difficult for me sometimes. Well, let's talk about the Beatles now. Who or what was your favorite Beatle album? I cheated a bit because I tended to like the compilation albums. Now, my favorites in the compilations were Past Masters, which came out with both a black and a white uh, covers, two separate discs, and uh, then later was combined into one uh, double CD. And, uh, you know, this had some, you know, some songs that weren't considered greatest hits or great tracks like I'm Down, you know, things like that and uh, Slow Down, other ones, uh, great ones. Uh, if I had to go, and also like, of course, the Red Album is one of my favorites. That's a compilation box set, as well as the Blue Album, another compilation of sort of the greatest hits. But if I was to pick one of their pure studio, studio albums, I think I'd have to go with something new. Uh, because in Canada, they released a Canadian copy 
of a Hard Day's Night soundtrack. And it only had a few of the songs that are on something new. So he's, uh, you know, so uh, something new included uh, the top hits from Hard Day's Night plus uh, some extra tracks, which were really cool, like I'll Be Back and ones like that, Slow Down, you know, real, real good stuff. And uh, that would probably be my favorite is something new. But what do you think? A lot of Beatle fans out there. What do you think? What's your favorite? You got one or more? You got ties? Probably. I don't know. Okay. My other one was Bob Dylan. Still one of my all-time favorites. What can you say about the Bobster? Well, you know, what would you say about what's Bobster's favorite, uh, fa uh, your favorite Bobster album? If I learned to talk again. Now, for me, I would have to go definitely with Highway 61 Revisited. I believe that was the first Dylan album I ever bought. It was out records and vinyl in. And that amazing song, like a Rolling Stone. Man, I was hooked on Dylan just by hearing that alone. That was the start of it. Uh, another one I'd put probably a close second is Blood on the Tracks, uh, which are very artistic, very well-written songs and performed by Bob Dylan on Blood on the Tracks. Okay, uh, and I was also gonna talk about two other things. Uh, one is, what is your favorite punk band, punk music? You know, Sex Pistols and all that stuff. Well, mine was the Ramones, still is. Uh, they finally inducted them into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It was well-deserved. I mean, these guys are great. The Ramones, most of them are dead now, maybe all of them, but rest in peace. But they put out some good music when they were still around. Dee Dee, Joey, Johnny Ramone, all those guys. And, uh, uh, you know, the, my other one was, what was your favorite era in rock music? Like, I'm an old guy. So I'd have to go back to 65 to 67 era of uh, garage rock, rock and roll, garage band rock and roll. And uh, I have the box set of the Nuggets uh, from that era. And it's a uh, four CD uh collection of the best hits uh, from around 65 to 67. Uh, some of them are of the psychedelic nature, the later ones in 67, have great songs like Are You a Boy or Are You a Girl? Like I Had Too Much to Dream Last Night, Psychotic Reaction. Uh, it goes on and on. See, at that time, they had some very young bands who were releasing uh, singles. And often they'd only release one single or album and they'd only have one hit. But the hit they had was usually great. It, it was really something else. So I really enjoyed that. Okay, folks, now it's your turn. Uh, any of you inclined to respond to some of my questions again or one or all? Uh, now, the first one I said is what is your favorite Rolling Stones album? Second? What is your favorite Beatles album? Three, what is your favorite Bob Dylan album? And then four, what is your favorite punk band, if you like punk? And five, what was the era of the time period that you uh, enjoyed the most in rock music? Of course, that's going to depend on your age, but, uh, you know, let me know. And uh, thank you for all the comments, and I was going to see uh, just ask if one of my viewers, Riley, is still out there. I hope he's able to see this video. And I hope he's able to comment. Because I miss him. Okay, maybe Riley will send me a comment or something today, hopefully. And the rest of you, too. Okay, so have a good one. This is Ken David Stewart. Uh, sh uh, not shining off. Signing off. And maybe I'll even learn to talk for the next video. Thank you very much.